devout Catholic and mother of five in six years. Uh, I uh, feel that God blessed my husband and me with our beautiful family, five children, six years almost to the day. But that may not be what we should, it's not up to me to dictate that that's what other people should do. And it, it's an issue of, of fairness and uh, justice for poor women in, in our country. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi invoking Catholicism, not only to justify abortion, but also justify her government forcing our people to be complicit in her sin by funding abortion with our tax, do tax dollars. Joining me now, Archbishop of the Diocese of San Francisco, Salvatore Cordelione, and the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Fort Worth, Bishop Michael Olson. Gentlemen, welcome. Uh, Your Excell Excellency Cordelione, we're going to start with you. You were one of the first voices uh, objecting to Nancy Pelosi using the Catholic faith to justify abortion and forced funding of abortion by taxpayers. Tell the audience why. Abortion is a horrendous evil. We're talking uh, since the Roe decision about 66 million babies murdered in their mother's wombs. It's a horrible evil. Uh, I appreciate Speaker Pelosi's uh, the feeling she has of devotion to her Catholic faith. It's a beautiful tradition that she's very attached to. But we have to see things with a consistent vision of affirmation of human dignity as Catholics and other Christians and Jews as well, believing that we're created in the image of likeness of God. Human life is not something to be destroyed, it's to be cherished and welcomed. And as far as telling what other people to do, basically that's what our laws are. Our laws tell people what to do more often what not to do. So we tell people not to kill innocent human beings. That should also apply to those who are in the womb. Your Grace uh, Olson, when, when high-profile politicians utter doctrine that runs counter to Catholic teaching, how problematic is it for, for folks like, like you in your position to make sure the laity don't get confused about what real Catholic teachings are? Well, the bishops in conference and as individual bishops have a responsibility to remind the faithful uh, what the church has always taught about the gospel and what Christ has handed on to us about the integrity of the Eucharist, as well as about gravely moral matters like abortion, the direct taking of innocent, unborn human life. You know, people may not like what the church teaches and is always taught. Uh, they might reject what the church teaches and is always taught. But no one has the right to misrepresent and to change or silence what the church has always taught with integrity and with authority. A Catholic University, uh, Mount St. Joseph University in Cincinnati, Ohio, I think it is, coming under fire for hosting Mr. Biden's CNN town hall last week. Biden has been called the most pro-abortion president in U.S. history. After the 2020 election, uh, a priest by the name of Father Jim Gelati had a message to teachers at St. Andrew's School. Listen to this. I'm just going to take a stand and let the pieces fall where they may. You are not to celebrate the fact that this pro-abortionist is close to being the president of the United States. He is a pro-abortionist. The Catholic Church is anti-abortion. I presume that you are not discussing in the classroom the situation of abortion that goes against what the Catholic Church teaches. Archbishop Cordelione, shouldn't this be the position really of every Catholic priest, uh, ma making sure they're putting the faith before politics? Yes, we always must put faith before politics. I would also like to underscore that, yes, abortion is against Catholic Church teaching, but it's not something that's denominationally specific. This is a universal moral good, that innocent life should be protected. All religions embrace that. All people of, of sound mind and good reason embrace this principle. So it's not doctrinally specific. And yes, all, all priests, all clergy should uh, affirm uh, human dignity and, and uh, instruct people to resist uh, direct attacks on human life and uh, affirm um, the equality of all human beings to have a right to life and, and live decently. Bishop Olson, for the first time since the 1970s, uh, the House has voted to drop the Hyde Amendment, a law that, as we've all been discussing, protected taxpayers from funding abortions. 
The U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops responded, tweeting, the House has voted in a way that is completely out of step with the will of the American people. The Hyde Amendment has saved at least 2.4 million lives since its enactment. Bishop Olson, the, the U.S. bishops have, have been widely praised by, by the laity for taking this stand. But some Democrats have promised to retaliate against the church using the tax-exempt status of churches as a weapon. What, what goes through your mind when you see your fellow bishops making that stand for Jesus Christ in spite of the threats they're receiving from some members in government? Uh, well, the so social teaching of the church is the teaching of the church. And a key point and foundation of that is the inherent dignity of each and every human person and the basic right to life. And, you know, in the history of the church and our tradition, we faced opposition before on these and other matters that are integral, integral to our, um, and to, to the gospel and to the gospel we've been entrusted to teach. I, I would hope that um, any Catholic, be it Republican or Democrat, wouldn't weaponize their their opinions against the moral teaching of the church and against the integrity of the faith that they were baptized in well, and that they've received. Yeah, it, it is It is my view, this Catholic's view, uh, that the bishops are taking a very courageous stand with this show, at least this show's full and undying support. Archbishop Salvatore Cordelione and Bishop Michael Olson, gentlemen, God's blessings, and thank you very much for your time here on The Salcedo Show. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest-growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.